Good morning. Chris Redondo here from Fluorcraft, and today we're going to uh, join Eddie, one of our technicians, in diagnosing and most likely replacing the pump on this tipper trailer. Uh, not trailer, sorry, tipper truck. The customer has complained that the tipper is not uh, lifting what it's supposed to be lifting. So when he's got a load in the back, it's not it's not tipping it out when he gets to the tip or where he gets to the side or wherever he needs to to offload. So we have our suspicions of what we think it might be, but we're just going to run uh, uh, some tests first and uh, just to see if we can diagnose before we start ripping things off and, and just buying parts and bolting them on, hoping for the best. So we really need to make sure we we have diagnosed the problem and we can find what the issue is and then go about repairing it. So first things first with tippers. Uh, not just tippers, but anything with suspended load really is safety. So uh, you can see here, uh, we've got our low graded safety chocks here. These are specifically designed to work on tipper bodies. So uh, we've been using these for a while now. Uh, we will not work under a body that is not propped. And we won't even rely on the safety prop that comes built into a lot of bodies because a lot of the time they're you know they're not load rated uh, we don't know who's welded them we don't know what type of materials used we don't know if they've been damaged before we don't know if you know uh, they're not made to support with a load on it either so if someone's got a load and, and put that on and, and dumped it down there it could be bent damaged also have this retainer chain here so we've got actually operating or user procedures how we use these chocks they've got uh, adjustment here to uh, adjust to the width of the chassis rail. In this case, we haven't used the one that comes down here and we've checked with the supplier uh, that that's okay as long as they're sitting flat on, on here and you have this retaining chain hooked up. So we're sitting flat, we're sitting flat up here, it looks good. Bearing on the biggest surfaces we can. If for some reason, because we're on a, we're on a taper, if this does get uh, slid out, you know, there's grease or something happens, cups a bump, I don't know, uh, earthquake. <laughs> we, uh, we, we, we've got this safety chain here to stop it from shooting out and lowering. So, um, yeah, I believe they're rated to 10 ton each. Yeah, so if you need any more info on these, uh, we don't sell these, but uh, ABS Trail Clip. Uh, is the company, I believe they're up in Queensland, I believe. Uh, we, we rang them up, uh, we saw their design, we really liked it, uh, and we ordered a set. Uh, pretty pretty affordable for what it is, I mean, but how do you put a price on your own life? Very important, if you're working under any sort of body, I mean, not that this is any formal training video or anything like that, this is just a, a general uh, video of how we do it. Uh, we are going to have bodies and, and we're going to have technicians under there where they need to work because it's on the other side. Um, it's just on the other side of the uh, chassis rail there. And we may need to disconnect some hoses and, and muck around with the hoist line. So we need to make sure that we're happy with this body, how it's propped, and it's not going to come crashing down when you disconnect the hose. So rule number one, safety. On tippers especially, or anything that's got a load, hook truck, tipper, um, trailer, rigid, whatever it may be, check it doesn't have a load in it. So if this trailer did come in with a load in it, we would not work on it because uh, our safety chocks are not rated to support a load. So I uh, can't stress this enough, don't get under an unsupported or properly supported body at all. Um, it can catch you out. Uh, I've known people that have got really seriously hurt um, in our industry, uh, owner drivers, that type of thing, very common um, that the people get killed like, by getting squashed by the body. So big, big safety prop here, big, big safety note. Uh, don't get any under anybody unless it's uh, any tipper body or body in particular or suspended load, loader arm frame, excavator boom, anything that's not supported properly. So there you go. Follow Eddie. He's going to... Uh, do some pressures, uh, test some pressures here and, and see what we get. If you've got any questions or anything like that, just pop them in the in the comments section below. We'll endeavour to, to get back to you with those. Um, yeah, so if you like what you see today, hit the subscribe button and we'll get you some more content. Cheers.
can even do it is maybe we just change, we just um, we can put it in the back here. Or there even maybe. Yeah. Or there if that's easier. You want it in line, yeah? We just need it in that line somewhere. Yeah. It doesn't matter where it is. But, uh, if, if we've got the fitting in our test kit, that's great. Uh, we need to get it somewhere else. Oh no, not in line, deadhead. So we need to deadhead it like that. Yeah. So you can use. Yeah, you can just use that. Yeah, use straight that. on there. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you can yeah, cut this hose off. Yeah. You can push that off the back. Yeah, you can straight on that. That's it. And that's Edio. I'm about to go get a cap and my spanner. Have a little torch thing over here? No.
looks like uh, it wasn't what we originally thought on this uh, tipper. So once we connected a gauge off the uh, tipper, tipper valve in that line, uh, in between the tipper valve and the hoist, we're only getting about 2,000 PSI. So the customer complained that when he was tipping wet concrete, it wasn't uh, tipping for him. So we suggest he might have had a, a bit heavier load than, than what he usually has. So we've bumped that pressure up to 2,500 PSI, which is well within the, the limits of the hoist itself. Uh, and we'll uh, send it back to work and uh, get a report from the customer to see how that is. So we're getting 2,500 PSI there in that hoist. The hoist isn't leaking. Everything should be okay. So yeah, we'll see how that goes. So it wasn't a pump after all, so never assume. That's why we do our tests and do our diagnosing. So we're not bolting on or spending time where we don't need to or spending money uh, where we don't need to spend money. So thanks for watching guys. Again, subscribe if you like the content. And if you've got any questions, yeah, put them in the comments box and we'll be happy to answer them for you. See you on the next one.